Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty and the channel's name of course is Speculative Magpie and I'm here with just a kind of a rambling video today. Um, I got a package in from uh, Purgatory Paul, Paul from Snowcone72 and um, are you okay puppers? And I decided I would open it on camera because I really, I've tried to film like two like book reviews and I just can't get the words out. And yeah, this has been a heck of a week, y'all. And I haven't even made my bed. So please ignore that. The room's kind of trashed. So I figured I'd open up the um, package for you guys because I don't know what's in it. Um, Paul just said he was going to send me a box of books, and to, to, who doesn't love a box of books? Thank you so much, Paul. I'm going to link his um, channel down below, just in case, for some reason, you aren't um, subscribed to him, so y'all can subscribe to him, because he does all kinds of stuff on his videos, um, on his YouTube channel. So, yeah, I'm going to open that, and then if I haven't rambled too much, I guess I'll show you my um, To Be Read cart, because I'm going to be adding these books to the To Be Read cart. So, yeah, this is not a small box, okay? Um, it's pretty big, so with my kitchen knife, I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I really should get like something that I keep in my room to open packages with because something a little prettier than a kitchen knife. So let's see what we got. Ooh, we have a lot of books. Okay, I'm going to set these down here and let's see what we got. Now, it's still kind of early. I've been on vacation, so I haven't been getting up um, really before like like noon. So I still have my coffee and my morning stuff. So alrighty. Oh wow! All right. So he packed each book individually, which I think is awesome. This one looks like it's a nonfiction book. It's called I Met a Witch, Battling Evil with Holy Spirit Power. I'll have to check that out. Hopefully nobody's going to battle me since I'm a witch. So... Ooh, Swan Song. That's a Robert R. McCayman book. Um, I think I've read this one before. Not quite sure, but uh, it's if I have, it's been a while. That one looks like it's gonna take a month to get through at least. That's a definitely a read at work book. So. Monster. Left to his own devices. Okay, this one looks pretty fucking cool too. Oh, there's two books in this one. Jeez, Paul, you are totally freaking spoiling me. The Screaming Room. Ooh. Look at these. These are not little books. This is awesome. Oh my God, I can't believe this one. <gasps> this one was actually on my wish list, my Amazon wish list. I've been wanting to read this one for a while. The House on Abigail Lane. Thank you, Paul. That is so awesome. Oh, 
Okay. This cover looks awesome. This is The Reckoning. You can't see it, but that woman who's in the red dress, she's looking back and she has red eyes. That is so cool. You guys know I love a good cheesy cover. That is awesome. Dark Deeds. Ooh, this looks like a like a crime novel. I love crime novels. Dark Deeds. That one looks so cool while on the run through. That one looks pretty cool. Aha. Frankenstein. I love Frankenstein. I actually don't have a copy, but that's a pretty sweet copy. Now, that's not the actual painting, but that kind of looks like that um, painting, The Nightmare. That is a really cool copy, Paul. That Oh, no, it is The Nightmare. There it is. For some reason, I just thought the uh, demon in that painting looked different. Well, it's been a while since I've been to a college art class, so there we go. The Forgotten Island. Oh my gosh, I saw your review on this, Paul. It looks so good, and this is on my wish list too. I can't believe I'm going to be clearing some books off of my Amazon wish list. Look at that. I'm so excited to read that one. And this last one, Paul, you sent me this one? Oh my gosh. He sent me the Cryptid Zoo. Y'all know I love me some HP uh, Lovecraft. And when he did the review for this one, I was like, I really want to read that. Thank you so much. That is so many books, Paul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't express my thankfulness enough. That is so awesome. And, but, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books that I have to add to my, um, my to be read cart. Uh, so I guess I can't put it off any longer. You guys want to see it? Now, being as all, we all love books and everything, um, I'm pretty sure that y'all's to-be-read piles and to-be-read carts are equivalent, if not more, than what I have. Um, now, keep in mind, I am not strictly a horror reader. I've just, for the past couple of months, have been on a horror kick. Um, looks like I'm going to stay on that for a while. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to pick you up. You're going to keep facing me because that's just easier for me. And we are going to come over here. I'm going to grab my coffee. And we are going to sit. And I am going to show you my horror cart. All right. It's just the little cart that I got from here. I'm going to, you don't have to see me. Ah, ah, there it is. There's my horror cart. Look, and you can see my Crocs. Sorry about that. I love my Crocs. So yeah, it was probably about, well, now I have 70 books on here. So they're not very organized. So we'll start down here. This is like some of the um, older books that I have. This one here, whoops. How did that one get pushed back? All right, this is like fantasy, fantasy, kind of fantasy. This is actually Robin McKinley's vampire novel. It's a um, very interesting story. Um, this woman wakes up in this tower, and she and this vampire are chained in the same room. 
So, and it's just her having to figure out what's going on. This one here, believe it or not, is a vampire novel I read probably in about the eighth grade. It's a trilogy. This is, um, it's basically this guy's a, kind of like a vampire, but not really. Um, it's sort of like, uh... psyche and cupid kind of thing going on but it was really interesting um i got some stephen king the last final girl i want to definitely pick up heather graham um she's like my um guilty pleasure read none of her books are are very um hard to read it's basically the same plot she's like I, he I hesitate to call her paranormal romance, but it's kind of that way. And then some more Stephen King, Those Who Hunt the Night. Blood Oath. This is a book that a friend of mine online recommended. Um, basically, they're secret agent vampires that work for the president. I mean, like I'm like, okay, whatever. Sounds kind of interesting. He was loving it, and he quoted some of the um, things that the vampire says, and it just made me laugh. So I definitely wanted to read that. That one was just a cover buy from Barnes & Noble. I just thought it was a cool cover, and it was like in the cheap section. Um, let's see. This one was also a cover buy, just because it had such a pretty cover. Shadow Shapers. Um, this is probably the oldest book that I have on here. I've had this book for like maybe about seven or eight years, and I just haven't read it yet. This is basically the start of Japanese, um, like, paranormal tales. Things like that. Um, let's see. Once in Future Witches, which I picked up for the cover, but it seems very good. Um, of course, my next Gord Rolo, Deck Z. My Hero Academia, I read manga, and I am obsessed with this anime and this manga. It's just so good. Um, this is a series I'm reading right now. This is the third book. Um, need to pick that up soon. Book of Short Stories. Just a contemporary novel. These right here would be considered part of the grimdark fantasy. And I really like grimdark. Um, my all-time favorite series, The Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch. This is the third book. I'm kind of putting off reading it because... A lot of stuff is going to happen in this one. Malice by John... Um, cannot, cannot say that. Gwen, Gwenine. Um, this series seemed very interesting. A lot of fantasy booktubers really like this series. Kings of the Wild. Um, heard a lot of good things, a lot of bad things about this book. Um, it's considered grimdark too, but... Um, a lot of people say it's like brain candy, not a very deep story. And I'm like, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't need to learn, you know, about the human experience every time I read a book. But this book just sounds really cool. It's about, um, basically, mercenaries are considered bands. And they're like rock stars, basically. And um, this group of old washed up mercenaries get together for one last um like hurrah and then this one is the one that i've been putting off reading for so much this is the malazan series i'm going to read it eventually but this is probably the most um intimidating book on here and then i think this one um of course recommendation from are you into horror richard I don't know what this one is. I'm afraid if I pull it out, everything's going to fall. Oh, yeah, that's the Gollum and the Jean. That one is a fantasy novel. 
Um, this one's written by a Chinese author. It's basically a detective story. It takes place um, a couple centuries ago. This one I picked up at a used bookstore just because it looked interesting. This one, don't remember who recommended it, but yeah. This one here is, of course, The Devil in Silver by Victor Lavelle. Seems pretty cool. Might want to read that one soon. Convenience Store Woman and Sweet Bean Paste and the Nakano Thrift Shop are all um, Japanese contemporary novels that have been translated into English that I want to read. This is a writing craft book. Two books you've seen on um, my, uh, you know, book hauls. And look, guys, I cleaned my room, sort of, and I found my journal. My um, YouTube book. So that's cool. So yeah, that is my To Be Read cart. I imagine not as bad as some, but still a little, you know, over full. And then there's my, my To Be Read pile for November that I'm working on. So yeah, that is, oh yeah, like I said, I'm obsessed with uh, My Hero Academia. What can I say? And Kakashi's watching over my plant. A little bit of fandoms there. Critical Role and Supernatural. My favorite tarot deck journal. So yeah, that guys, thank you for coming. And I hope I didn't ramble too long. So if you're still here, I'll see you next time. And hopefully I'll be able to put my thoughts so I can get those reviews out. I like filmed one like three times and still can't get it. So thanks again, Paul. I love all of my books. And everybody, hope you have a good day and come on back so we can talk some more about some books and things. Bye-bye.